Hello YouTube, this is Stottle here of Stottle's Throttles and we've got Ahsoka Tano next. This is our brick head. I do not want to damage the box. I don't like the ones with the little, like the slave one back there has that little, uh, you punch it in with your finger. I'm not a huge fan of those because they do damage the integrity of the box just slightly. But it's just a box. It'll be fine. Or you know, that's, that is something to say is such a thing. But, anyway, what I'm going to do, there's tape on this Ahsoka, so we're going to, we're going to get one of my box cutters, my handy dandy, rinky dink, dollar store box cutters. I'm going to drink some water first. Everybody stay hydrated out there today, man. If you don't stay hydrated, just screw yourself over, man. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta drink water. And yes, I will confirm, this is, this is water here. It's nothing else. Don't worry about it. Oh. When you talk as much as I do, if you don't hydrate yourself, you're going to come out sounding like a 100-year-old chain smoker, and you don't want that. I can tell you, <laughs> there's an opinion you didn't need to hear today. But anyway, Soka Tano right here. And I got to say, this box art is beautiful. Look at her. Look at this sweet box art, man. Like, that is great. This is how Lego boxes should be. I mean, you got scenes of the Clone Wars. And just, just fantastic here. Fan-freaking-tastic. You know what's funny on Lego? Age suggestions. But, oh, mother. See, see, see what happens when you're not careful, ladies and gents. Oh, man, that was what I was trying not to do, mother... Well, I'll have to buy a different box sealed. Well, these are some colorful pieces. Those are mostly gray and blue, but look at you. Vibrant. This is a vibrant bag of Legos right here. Honestly, my only thing about the Brickheads is that they should come with a minifigure as well. So that's not a minifigure, that's a brick head. Should have come with an Ahsoka minifigure too, you know? It's only fair, Lego. Yo, Lego CEO, I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, seriously. So this, this uh, instruction manual has a little bit of a different design, a little bit more contemporary here with some shading on it. Real beautiful looking. That's a beautiful looking instruction packet right there. Uh, you can see a little Lego dude with his Lego instructions right there, you know, dumping out all his Legos. So we're going to dump out some Legos. Here we go. Okay, this honestly looks like I could break it in half. And I'm not just saying that because it's a flat piece. I'm saying it because I don't know if this is a design inconsistency, but if you look hard at the Lego... You can see a line right through the middle on the diagonal basis right there. See that line? You can barely tell. I don't know what the deal is with that. I've heard a lot of bad things recently about LEGO's quality control. I'm not going to shit all over it right now, but, um, you know... That's a little bit weird to have that line going down the middle like that. And oh my god, that's a lot of tiny pieces. Hopefully we don't lose anything. I don't think we will. Having my computer like this is fun because it leans down a little bit. But I think I'm capturing a good quality image. Getting a lot of my hands in these videos. Say hello to my hands. Just doing their job. Building their Legos, having their fun, and there is a piece that was trying to get away. See, we can't have that. We cannot be doing that. That is against my rules here. Against the mission. Uh, 
Oh, no, you know what? No. No, no, this is the wrong priority. Should have been Boba Fett and Tusken Raider. I should have put them in a video together, but you know what? It's okay. We're mixing and matching. I'll probably upload the Tusken Raider video right with the Boba Fett video anyway. Uh, but just thematically, these guys go together. And then Ahsoka is a little bit more of a secondary kind of situation there. Oh, man. So comment on these videos, you know. What are your favorite, you know, if you're, uh, if you're a fan of Lego, what's your favorite types of Legos? What's your favorite set? What's your favorite set of all time? What's a memory with Lego that you have that you just can't get rid of? Because, man, you know, most of my generation grew up right in the midst of the Lego Star Wars games, some of the best Lego Star Wars sets. All that just happened in the last 25 years or so, you know. So being 23, it's great. Feel like I grew up at the right time, at least sometimes. Of course, there's a deeper philosophical debate of whether or not I belonged in the 60s or, say, 90s, but I've enjoyed these decades that I've been around. They've been something. Of course, that's a blanket statement. I haven't enjoyed every piece of them, but, you know, you just, you gotta roll with the punches. When life gives you lemons, I'm not going to say you make lemonade because that's cliche and it's just not entirely true because what you're supposed to do is squeeze the lemons back in the eyes of life. <laughs> and that's what we're doing here. We are squeezing the lemons back. I'm not sure what that meant. <laughs> well, I am. It means live life to the fullest, build Legos, see your friends. Of course, I'm speaking as a hermit, so I guess that's a little bit hypocritical, but do what you feel is best. Do what you what makes you comfortable. Have your own principles and don't let the circumstances of life win. You win by picking your battles and whatnot. Well, you know. All right, I'm back. Had a little bit of uh, power outage there for a second. Uh, localized power outage kind of a weird thing to happen I don't think I was doing anything to overload my circuit so <laughs> maybe the excitement from the uh, build here was too much I don't know but that was very odd so yeah I don't remember what I was even on about before that I'm kind of just winging it. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Because that was not fun. Was not a fan. Needless to say. So we are going to continue to build here. Continue to have fun. And hopefully not have the light go on, out on us again. Uh, you know, I learned something though, so that that's cool. Always cool to learn. Um, golly gee, what am I going to go on about? How much I adore Ahsoka. <laughs> One of the coolest Star Wars characters who was extremely underrated in the beginning. Well, not very good in the beginning. They didn't really introduce her in a way that was um, good, you know. They were still 
like the first Clone Wars movie where they introduced Ahsoka and they, they had that whole exposition that Filoni did. I can agree that it was not... I mean, I have a lot of nostalgia for the movie, actually, but it's really the later seasons of the Clone Wars where things got to get really good. I didn't exactly like the animation at first. I, I really kind of had a little bit of beef with the 2008 Clone Wars, and it felt a bit different because it wasn't the 2003 Clone Wars. Uh, Tartowski's... Or I, I, don't, I don't think I said that right, and I'm not going to look it up right now, but that was always the superior Clone Wars to me. Um, The action was a lot more comprehensive. Um, well, this one was more like a war story, and the 2003 Clone Wars was a lot more like a serialized, shortened version of. Like, I wish that they would have expanded those, done more of them. I actually... I do have a little bit of a theory, and I'll talk more about it in other videos, but I don't think that we're done getting... Star Wars, the Clone Wars, in the style of 2003, just because of how immensely popular it was. You know, it started off kind of like an advertisement for Revenge of the Sith, you know, trying to get you sold on that. And then it really turned into its own machine, you know, just this immensely powerful animated thriller. Like, that's another formative part of my youth, was watching, you know, I, I had the DVD version of the 2003 Clone Wars, and I watched that thing, and then I'd go out and play, and I'd imagine that I was in those battlefields, man, I'd get stick, swing that thing around like a lightsaber. Oh, man. And I'm telling you, lesson beats. Being a little five or six year old dude find a real cool stick in your yard and all of a sudden you have a lightsaber especially if you have an ima imagination you take that thing and you're on those battlefields man I fought in the Clone Wars <laughs> it's just a lot more localized and a lot more in my head And then I got to a certain age where, oh, it's embarrassing if the neighbors see you outside swinging around a stick. You're, you're going to poke your eye out, dude. I did, luckily. Um, and I truly miss my days of lightsaber combat. I actually... I really want to get one of those new, expensive lightsabers that they make that are custom, that are just like durable and strong. I want one of those so freaking bad. Man, if I could get one of those. And I know that they have the cheaper model on Amazon is like a couple, like uh, maybe almost $200, I think. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that one, but this one feels a little bit more complicated to build than Boba Fett's spaceship. Mainly because the amount... Tiny, tiny pieces. A lot of tiny pieces here. And, uh, I think this video is going to be longer than I was initially anticipating, but that's okay.
looking at this pile, it feels like a lot less Legos than it is. these are different builds than what I would typically be used to, just in the way that you build a brick head. <clears throat> a little bit interesting. Creative. Fascinating. So as you can see, we have a little torso built here. It's a tiny little arms. We are we are a go here. We're going to get something done. And we are going to have Lady Tonic. Lady Tonic. I'm trying to say it like Maul. I don't know if I have this level of excellence. I mean, I could do the whole Kenobi bit. Kenobi! Something like that. I'm not going to wake up the house in the middle of the night with that. But, oh, I could. Yeah, I, I will say I love the final arcs of the Clone Wars series. Just absolutely incredible writing on those. The, the animation was just out of this freaking world, and it was great. I would definitely recommend to watch those if y'all get the chance and haven't already. Because this is the way. If you didn't know. <laughs> Damn, they made these brakes vibrant, and I haven't even gotten to the bunny sets. Hopefully I'll get to those. I'm running out of time tonight. It's getting later and later, and I have deadlines and things that I need to have done by the end of the night, so I don't know how many more of these builds I'll get to do. It's tough not to just want to, you know, build every Lego set in one night, but I'm saving them for my own good. You know, maximize the amount of uh, enjoyment I'm getting out of it by building them a little bit staggered. So really a fascinating build. If you couldn't tell, this is definitely a Sokotano right here. This is the final product. Look at all those eyes. Menacing. Oh my god. Okay. We are dropping phones where they do not need to be dropped. Then test. <laughs> 
All right. Let's continue. We are at the 23-minute mark. I think we're going to break 25 on this one. We might hit 30. I said I was going to time-lapse these videos. I think I was lying to myself, thinking that I wasn't going to talk through the whole thing and fill the whole space with my awkward thoughts and life process thing. I was lying to myself for sure. Because I didn't start this video not to talk. To this channel. This channel is for me to share thoughts and feelings and things. I mean, specifically, like I said, a lot of Star Wars products that we're going to see. A lot of fun we're going to have with those, but... We're going to get there, you know? We're going to have a better mic here shortly, so you're going to be able to hear me better. Not that this one probably isn't doing the job. This is the one built into my laptop. Also probably due to replace, but I'm not looking to go that hard yet. Replacing a mic on a laptop is probably a whole process. Not worth it when you could just replace it with a new external one that can be used on other devices. But, we're getting there. It's funny because you probably can't see most of the build itself happening. Because I'm building it from my vantage point. Because otherwise it's just extremely difficult. Because the way I have my computer set up, I have the screen of the laptop facing the other direction. And the camera facing outward. Just an effort to conceal my face. Not that I'm unwilling to show my face, as I, I do intend to show my face at certain points. Just because with LEGO builds like this, it's just not necessary. I don't have to show my face. It is not necessary to show my face. If there was a video that required me to do it, I would. And obviously that means self-requirement. That means the task would be, you know, like out filming something with friends or something, which I'm not at the point where we're doing yet, but it would be a cool thing to do in the future, depending on what we're all up to. <clears throat> Lots of YouTubers have... Uh, I really have gotten into the camping YouTube lately, thanks to a very good friend, and, uh... What is happening? Things are falling down. Why? But, uh, yeah. Gotten into the camping videos, and I just gotta say, huge fan of certain camping YouTube channels. I don't know if I'm gonna give them a shout-out right now or not, but they are fun. <clears throat> And I've been getting into those. Maybe getting a little bit of... I mean, okay, I'm, I'm not... Not the biggest proponent myself of making myself go camp. I'm not opposed to it at one point or another, but I like to sleep in my own bed. Like, it's just... It's a thing for me. I, I do not sleep well otherwise in other places I just don't I don't see the need to go sleep in the woods but I enjoy people who do I enjoy watching when they do especially if they're entertaining we have an Ahsoka here, ladies and gents. But would I be opposed? I mean, I'm probably not going to stealth camp. That could be 
ask him for trouble. Is it an impossible idea? No. But like something like kayaking. I don't know if YouTube wants to see another random guy kayaking. But would I be opposed to it? Not necessarily. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm pretty... Having my phone out while I'm in water like that, I mean, I'll use it to change songs if I'm using my speaker, but having it out while I'm out on the water is something that terrifies me for some reason. Probably because I know what could go wrong if, say, the phone slipped from my hand into a lake or river, that would not be good. I don't know why my Ahsoka build video turned into my commentary on how I feel personally about the notion of going camping. Uh, I suppose it's because I was talking about the direction of the channel, but it also that would probably be put on a separate channel if I were to do it. I, I, it seems like the algorithm, just from what other YouTubers have said, and do favors when you keep yourself focused on a specific area of something. This channel is going to have a bunch of Lego build videos that will turn into, say, old computer reviews and things like that, but it's still a product review. So maybe I will get away with that as far as the algorithm is concerned. I do not yet know. I have also said little words like shit a couple times. I do not know specifically if the algorithm cares about the word shit. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But I do not know. I don't know that I want to know. Because I want to keep doing this. I want this little social experiment of how will this uh, this new round of YouTube go? I want to see it go. So if it doesn't, I would be bummed out. I would be a little bit disappointed. So, we are hoping for a lot here. We are gonna, we're gonna change the world with this YouTube, no, not really. This YouTube channel, maybe it will help me fund changing the world, but this YouTube channel is not inherently about things that change the world. I hope to do some good with it. I hope. I don't think that it's directly educational. I mean, look at this. This is educational in how to spend 31 minutes as of yet building a brickhead Ahsoka. And one could say there's not a lot of purpose in just listening to a guy like me go on and on while I build. This, this greatest, one of the greatest Jedi that there is, that there was. But, I enjoy it. Hopefully, you all enjoy my quirky monologue here. It could annoy you. Some people do not like to listen to other people speak. And that's fair. Because I know that if I... Okay, that does not make sense. What are we... Okay, okay. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. That, that's not right. That is not right at all. What? Okay.
What? And now I have a fit. Oh. Okay, never mind. I had confused myself because some pieces were in the wrong place. Sometimes that happens when you build Legos. Sometimes all of a sudden you're like, wait, this doesn't seem right. Oh, yes. Because I'm being stupid. Late. I am. We are burning the midnight oil here, ladies and gents. Burning the midnight oil. Which isn't exactly the worst thing that one can do. One around them. Thursday morning. Technically, one would think, one would make it feel like it's a Wednesday night. But no, it is a full-blown Thursday morning, and I am just going on and on about random nonsense while building Lady Tano. And this is, man, does that look great on the camera. I am happy with this build. We are getting somewhere. Who did they ask? Aristotle, why do you talk so much? Why, why not just, just be quiet for just, just five, five minutes? Let us, let us enjoy the silence. Well, because dead air is not something that I'm good at when I'm having fun. Maybe it's the awkwardness of just being quiet in the void, building a Lego, Recording yourself building a Lego just silently. Something feels ominous about that. Something feels like that's not the way to go about it. Now, I don't know that it's popular to watch people building Legos. Most of the reviews I see, the Lego sets are built in the in-between segments. And all of a sudden you have a built Lego and you're doing a review. Those videos are shorter than these videos. And of course I am actively comparing myself to my favorite YouTubers. Whom I have opted not to name at this point. I could, I'm not going to put in the time to put together a playlist of all my favorite YouTubers. But on occasion, I will indirectly reference them. I could directly reference them. But maybe there's fun in the mystery. Maybe it's infuriating and you're like, why are you being so secretive? You're just blabbing your mouth otherwise and you are not being secretive. Why are you not sharing the YouTubers who you like? Well, get to know me. And you'll get to know, you'll get to, you know, presumably as you could tell, Lego Star Wars YouTubers. Some of my favorites. Hoping one day that as this channel grows in its own popularity that they get to know my name as I know theirs and we get to be on the even stage there. It would be great to do collaborations and things like that and I know that YouTube loves that stuff so. And I don't tend to idolize people, they're just more potential friends to have and that's, that's the important part in life. That when you approach it, you should not worship any. You should not worship anyone in this. It happens. You have your, you know, parent figures and whatnot. And, you know, you, you 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 do worship people, but you should because people are just people, man, and. Yeah, true me equally. I mean, and we're talking here about like celebrity or politician worship. Like, don't worship politicians. Don't do it. Don't be a stan of some politician. See, see, I went, I went in the political way. I should not do this, but I did. Just, you know, we're just all humans here, just trying to make do. 
Some of us are better than others. Some of us are not. And I'm not saying, like, in the sense of, oh, you know, big ego. I'm talking about... I'm talking about the good we do, or the good we at least say we want to do. I'm not gonna name names. Just gonna keep building. Probably cut this part out, honestly. Because this is, like I said, I wasn't gonna go there. But now I'm filling the void. I should just be talking about Ahsoka. Ahsoka, what are you doing? You look a little bit blocky. Why do you look so blocky, Ahsoka? You're confusing me. I am Anakin Skywalker. I am your master. You're scaring me. Oh god, it's late, guys. It is late. We are on and on. It would be fun to have a pet companion here. Like a bunny. But I don't think a bunny would... Well, no, a bunny would not be awake. I don't think bunnies are supposed to be awake on the schedule that I tend to keep. Which creates a little bit of potential future conflict. Because of how badly I want a bunny... Yet how I actively can equally acknowledge that my lifestyle might need to change if I were to welcome a friendly, adorable pet rabbit into my life. Of course, this is the wrong video to talk about that, given the fact that we have several rabbits to build. Well, three, for now. I plan to get maybe a, get one more Lego rabbit set. Uh, one of the other VIP freebies or whatever. The There's only a couple days left to get that one. I'm just trying to figure out how, where I'll pay for it from and whatnot. Oh, do, 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 do. Gotta, gotta keep this going. I got I got big goals for this. Big big ideas, big big plans. We're gonna have fun on here, ladies and gents. Maybe we'll do some live streams here or there. Considering that I've just started back at it. And this video probably will not be uploaded immediately. These videos have not been uploaded immediately thus far. If I'm Lucky, the plan is probably to upload them when I'm done with all of them. And I could even wait till the last package comes in, like I mentioned before, I think on my first video. Uh, I might have not made the cut on that video. There are... There is one more package that has yet to come in, and there will be more in the immediate future. So... We are looking forward to that. Lady Tano is looking more and more effectively like Lady Tano. And it's a good thing. It's good. We are have we are about we are on the cusp of having a final product. We are building a friend here. Soka is a friend. We must do what a Jedi would do. And follow the light. I'm just kidding. That's boring. That's like boring. I was born in the darkness. I'm gonna get some Lego Batman sometime. Some of those new sets are fairly cheap. Won't be a bad review. We have Lady Tano. No lightsabers, but she's got her arms, her feet, her head, which is really sweet design. I love the detail that they put into, you know, 
sides here. Like, this is a great piece. This is a great build. Lego has outdone themselves on this one. I think it's fantastic. Now, I have not watched many other people review, and of course, I don't just craft my opinion on what everybody else tends to do. But, you know, it does, you know, if there is a critique of this, it's not one that I'm too familiar with. At this time. Some people do not like brick heads. I personally, I don't know, they're, they're cute desk pieces for sure. Like, this could end up just sitting on my desk. Of course, then in that case, it's going to gather dust as things that sit around in your room tend to do. That's one of my biggest issues right now is dust getting on my Legos. Hopefully, I can find a solution to that specific problem. Um, I haven't yet, uh, other than display cases, and I'm just not, I don't have the space, and I'm not in the place where buying a display case would make sense. We will get to the point where I will have a display case, and once I have a display case, Legos will be going into it, and they will be displayed. Hopefully in a nice big man cave. We get a nice just total treasure trove of all these fantastic beautiful Legos just going on. And we just we just keep going. We keep having fun. You know, that's that's what this is about. It's about living life. Living like uh, Larry is fun about the city. Living like Mary Spongebob. I haven't watched that episode in forever. I don't even remember the context of why they were living like Larry. That's, that's kind of embarrassing for me. I, I watched all those Spongebobs when I was a kid, man. I just sat there on the bed until I could not think straight. And I just watched Spongebob. And it was a time... A great time. And oh man, oh man, we have Lady Tano. Sideways lightsabers in the Tano stance. This is fantastic. And a bunch of little spare pieces. And what we're going to do with the spare pieces here is we're going to just put them all on the little base because we don't want to lose them so we are gonna we're just gonna lay them on the base with no general rhyme or reason of why or what whatever we could oh that actually looks quite cool so that's a deal detail they didn't have before I'll add those to her arms Top. Can you Slowly just, and of course this isn't the build the way that it was meant to be. You know, I'm sure there are some sticklers out there who are like, Aristotle, you're... Aristotle, you're not... Yeah, my name is Aristotle. Aristotle. Is the shortened form that we are choosing to use for this channel. It's fine that I shared the real thing, because it's going to be out there. In the world. There you have it. We are nearly completed with this build as I had set forth. She does not want to stay on her base, and that is upsetting. Stay. Stay. And there you have it. Completed build. Now, honestly, I am going to give this 7 out of 10. Very good looking, very great. 
Like I said, I think that they should include an actual Ahsoka minifigure. Or a Tusken Raider minifigure. Like, it's only fair, right? So, we have hit 50 minutes. This video has been nearly an hour in the making to build Lady Tano here. And I gotta say, a little bit more complicated than Fett, but all in all, a little bit higher of a rating just because I think it's fair. They, uh, they put a lot of good effort into this, and it is what it's meant to be. It's a brick head. It's, you know... The head is a cube. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This video obviously not being one of the most interesting ones, but if you want to sit there and watch me talk for an hour about nothing, <laughs> uh, you know, come join. Peace out, everyone. Peace. Shoot. Peace.